from AC Milan, our hosts today. One of the most illustrious names in the game, but it's they who sit in Serie A's lower reaches. A hugely underperforming AC Milan, you'd have to say. Currently occupying a position in the wrong half of the table. Fiorentina, on the other hand, are having a fine season. At the moment, they're slugging it out with Juventus for second. Or, whisper it, unlikely, yes, very unlikely, but not impossible. Maybe even first, who knows? Given away. Now there are players forward here, four of them in red for Milan. Can they use this? Cicely Laurent with the shot. And that's deflected wide. Emeline Laurent, the summer arrival from Bayern Munich. She's scored twice for the club this term. Milan have settled into this game quite well. And this is a dangerous looking attack. Christy Grimshaw was waiting for it at the front post. Valentina Bergamaschi getting forward as she loves to do down that left hand side. Staskova, no foul. And that ball, who will it break for here? Milan into the penalty area and the chance of the cross. And well, that's a dangerous one, an opportunity for Milan. Still there, still there for Milan, and it's in. 15 minutes in. And Milan hit the front here. And it's number 10, Camila Dupsova, who's got the goal. Milan won, Fiorentina nil, and Fiorentina at sixes and sevens at the back, unable to deal with the pressure and the danger. Strong surging run forward that, causing all sorts of problems. It was Nadim with that strong run through the middle. And Fiorentina never really recovered, throwing themselves at the ball. And the ball eventually wriggling out. Here's Bocchetti. The cross will come in from Catena. Blocked. Catena has it again. Oh, that's a really clever reverse pass to Severini. Oh, and it's in. Brilliant play by Vero Bocchetti, who found Severini. And the ball nodded home by Madeleine Yanogi. The perfect response from Fiorentina and really it was all about the imagination of Vero Bocchetti. Suevi is forward, so too Piga for this one. Staskova is also a considerable presence in there and that's over the crossbar, unable to keep it down. Bocchetti, you'd have to imagine the most likely to take this one and try and fashion an opportunity. Severini moves away, it will be Bocchetti. And she's played it to Severini and they haven't picked her up here. Severini over the crossbar. And that was a half chance for the Fiorentina midfielder. It was a cleverly worked free kick. Swaby. Laurent, deft touch forward. They've held on to the possession here, Milan. Laurent is on the move again. Can she find the cross? She can, but there's a player in white waiting for it. Milan again. Still Milan. This should be two. It is two. Brilliant strike by Andrea Staskova. A true striker's finish. A sighting at goal. And Milan lead by two goals to one. Andrea Staskova. And Milan at the moment taking advantage of that. Cross coming in. They scored just six minutes after Milan's lead goal early on. Fiorentina. Can they find a response again in this one? Here's Staskova. Full of confidence now. Now Laurent, who has been a real bee in the bonnet of the Fiorentina defence here. Now Mascarello with the shot. It's deflected and touched wide by Baldi. Milan 1-3. What will Eduardo Giacinto, our referee, add on? On top of those three is the question, but it certainly appears that 
Milan are happy to wait it out and just hold on to possession. Grimshaw, Mascarello. She does look and try to show some ambition and play it forward. Laurent. Here's Staskova. And there might be another goal here. Almost very, very close. Laura Giuliani with the free kick. 30 year old goalkeeper. And that's not a good clearance, and there could be an opportunity here. And there is an opportunity. And Fiorentina almost drawing level. Good save by Giuliani. It was Pauline Hammerlund with the effort. Five minutes played in the second half. Right footed delivery. It's a swung one in towards Hammerlund, and it's at the back post, and it's in. And it's Laura Gar with the goal. And Fiorentina didn't have to wait long for the leveller in the second half. Laura Gar, the corner kick causing confusion. And Laura Gar seizing upon that. Mascarello's corner kick. Five players gathered inside the penalty area in red and black. Can she find one of them? It's a high one towards EJ, and she heads it towards goal. Who's it going to break for in there? And I think the referee has seen a high boot or decided that there's been a foul on the goalkeeper. Raquel Balde, in any moments of anxiety, have passed. Milan 2, Fiorentina 2. Milan have been Serie A's draw specialists this campaign. They've drawn five times, two more than any other team. They've never drawn more games in a season. They did draw five in 2022-23, but that was across 26 matches. There's an ambitious effort from distance, which had Baldi scrambling. Just had to be sure. Milan will need to be careful here. Fiorentina, the most prolific team in the last half hour of Serie A matches this season. 17 goals scored after the 68th minute. Chinotti helps that on. Severini. Severini with a chance again to send this in. Only one player in the middle. Giuliani claims it once more. Four minutes of which are on the way. You know, get looked poised to fire a shot towards goal, but Milan get it away once more. Here's Bocchetti. What can she fashion? What can she create? Bocchetti, left-footed shot. Who will it break for? Severini is in there. So too, Yanogi. But Laura Giuliani swiftly off her line. Fiorentina with bodies forward. Milan with bodies back. Fair with the corner kick. Right-footed towards the centre of the well, six-yard box. And it's drifted wide. And that is the last chance of the game. Eduardo Giacinto calls a halt to proceedings and it's finished in a 2-2 draw here entertaining enough fair as both managers exchange handshakes